Every year, 25,000 refugees arrive in Canada. Many come from places of war such as Afghanistan and Iraq. Many have endured torture and other forms of violence, including sexual violence. Many are estranged from their family. As of July 1st, health insurance for these refugees will be cut dramatically. These refugees are like the man I saw recently whose son died during the famine in North Korea in the early 1990s. His wife was killed trying to leave North Korea to go to China soon after that. He comes with some chronic medical conditions for which he requires medications. As of July 1st, he'll not be able to obtain those medications. This is not the Canada I know. Government rationale for the cuts are to reduce cost, promote public health, and promote fairness in the system. It is known among many healthcare practitioners that these insurance cuts will accomplish none of these goals. What does this mean for people that have escaped war, starvation, torture, and other forms of persecution? and seek Canada as a land of hope and opportunity. This is not the Canada that I know. On June 18th, 2012, the National Day of Action for Refugee Health will take place across Canada. There will be events in 13 different cities across the country. We're optimistic that after reviewing the facts, we'll be able to persuade the government not to proceed with the plan changes. Call the right Minister of Citizenship and Immigration, Jason Kennedy, and your MP, and ask them to stop cuts to health services for refugees. For more information, please access doctorsforrefugeecare.ca and facebook.com slash refugeehealthcare.